Hello everyone, my name is Marinella and I'm a part of our classes group organization. And uh, today we are going to talk about our program February Online Art Workshop that started on 13th February and finished on 20th February 2021. Uh, it was a very busy week for us and uh, many people, you know, attended our event. And uh, I want to show you what have we done and uh, the artworks from our students. So let's get started and see uh, the achievements. This is the poster that we used to promote on all social media. You are on... Uh, this is the first workshop. Really fun painting on hard just a few insights of what have we done, what did we, what have we thought. And here we have the amazing works from our students. Thank you so much for everyone who sent the artworks. Uh, so we have here the first artwork from Joanna, such a nice, peaceful artwork, you know, very nice deep blue she used for the water. We have Lisa, uh, a nice, uh, you know, representation of the flowers and from Vivian. Uh, so we had the two brothers that they done uh, the same artwork and it was finished by the parents. <laughs> so really, really nice uh, workshop. So we used the cardboard in a heart shape and then we painted lily pond uh, flowers and uh, it was in acrylic painting. Very, very nice uh, workshop, very good response. And what was amazing is that our, our audience was from all corners of the world. So you have from Las Vegas, we had um, UK, we had Romania, I think we had in India, Bangladesh. So all over the world. Thank you so much, you guys, for you know everyone who attended. So let's see the second workshop. Uh, I, I, it was on Sunday, the 14th February. Very exciting. It was Cupid painting in acrylics in Raphael style. So the same, just a few insights of uh, what happened during the workshop. How we done the, how we started sketching the Cupids. Cupids are the messengers, the small babies represented in Renaissance time and they are the messengers of love. And uh, many artists during that time painted uh, this um, uh, cupids and mostly Raphael was a Renaissance artist. And here are the artworks from our students. So thank you to Yanani, thank you to Lisa who sent over. It was a difficult task, honestly, really, really difficult. And uh, I think it came out really, really nice, you know, what our uh, audience done. We, so you had the participants were our students as well and the audience from abroad, uh, from UK as well. So it was really nice. Very good artworks, guys. I hope you'll have uh, uh, many paintings to display in your house <laughs> from this uh, program. And let's go to the next uh, workshop that has been organized. It was on uh, Monday, the 15th of February, 2021. And um, so thank you, Omar. Omar got ready before the workshop and he sent me the picture really nice sorted all the seeds and uh, nuts and beans that he used um, really interesting 
And the final piece that he done, we have as well from Hamza. What's amazing is that both of them are seven years old. <laughs> And they done such amazing artworks. Really, really nice. I like that Omar used the designs from the center of the heart. I think he used almonds. So a really yummy artwork. <laughs> Difficult to keep it on the wall. <laughs> okay, let's go towards the next workshop uh, on uh, Tuesday. And uh, this is the result from our students. This is their artworks. It was the same, a quite challenging uh, workshop. It was the drawing was not easy. Um, However, I think the results from our students, they're really outstanding. So we have uh, Siona. I'm really mesmerized by her background. Really nice, detailed. We have uh, Lisa. Very nice representation of uh, the violin and the reflections of the light. And we have Omar, uh, seven years old. The same nicely how he captured the, the uh, colors in the background. Very nice, guys. I think Omar, he attended all our workshops, really passionate about art, and very surprising thing, thing by the end of this presentation, I'll tell you about uh, Omar. Okay, let's move towards the next workshop on um, Wednesday, Yarn Art Landscape. So just a few insights of uh, what uh, have we done. So we use the cardboard and uh, then we use PVA glue and different uh, colored yarn or uh, wool. So different threads and we try to make uh, a picture from these ones, these materials. It was really exciting and the artworks are really outstanding. So again, we have Omar. He didn't finish his work. However, I've got the feedback from his parents that he started introducing this kind of uh, uh, you know uh, yarn art into his daily projects so that is amazing lisa i love the um the outline of the border of the entire uh, artwork really really nice and makes it stand out parnas i'm feeling like it's an ocean of color <laughs> really nice um and uh, uh brenda just outstanding very nice pastel colors for the picture it's like i can't even imagine it's done out of uh, wool or or yarn um very nice workshop um and uh, amazing artworks let's see the next uh workshop from our program calligraphy so we had uh, illustration. So we, we've done a replica of this illustration with the focus on the calligraphy writing. It was a good practice to get an idea of uh, different fonts, different materials. And here are the artworks from our students. So from Shazia, we have the artworks before and after. We have from Yanani, the same is still work in progress, not completed. And um, we have the same from uh, two brothers, Nikita and uh, AD. Very nice. I'm really happy that this workshop helped, you know, many people to have idea of this art of beautiful writing. And uh, let's move towards the next workshop. So underwater scene in acrylic painting, the same very challenging. <laughs> uh, so here are the artworks from our students. We have uh, from uh, Shazia, the top artwork. It is the same work in progress. We have from Yanani, I would say really outstanding work. So um, Yanani, well done for, for this piece. 
um, I mean, the water, you really done it with reflections of black and that gray. Well done for this. Um, at the bottom, I, I'm not sure <laughs> who sent it, but guys, if you see this, well done. I mean, really, really nice. Try as well to, to complete the artworks if they are not finished. Um, and we have as well some more. Okay, so on the right side, we have Lisa, and at the bottom is uh, Farnas. Now, in the middle, we have, again, Omar. So Omar was very unhappy with his work mostly with his portrait. And uh, I remember that I was talking to his parents and uh, I sent them the picture of Francis Bacon. Francis Bacon is, is a famous artist in portraiture. So uh, uh, a different view of portraits. And I tried to explain them, look how similar <laughs> the portraits of Francis Bacon, a famous artist, and Omar's. So guys, don't be disheartened about the result of your work. You never know which famous artist painting the same style as you. <laughs> so well done, Omar. And this is a good lesson for everyone. Guys, keep going. Don't look at the final result. It's just a practice. For me, literally, it's a study of 30 years continuously only this uh, uh, topic, so nothing else. So is 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 a lifetime work and why not to develop it into a passion so don't give up from <laughs> just one artwork well done and let's go towards uh, i think the last workshop abstract landscape painting so let's see a little bit the insides of how we've done it so we used um as a sample one of my artworks and we try to uh, engage our audience to explore more the abstract way of painting so trying to to reduce the details from their work and work with uh, flat brushes flat strokes and this is the result i'm literally stunned about all the work so we have shazia strong bold colors i really love the entire entire work we have siona the same she explored different you know a different type of painting in this abstract uh we have lisa outstanding uh, water so the pond is really really nice lisa well done for this omar as well well done very good artworks and i'm really happy that you know, it was a week of learning for, for all our participants. I want to take uh, the chance and um, I want to say thank you to everyone who sent their works, uh, who sent the pictures to us. It is It was really nice to see uh, everything. Uh, how you've done guys you know the process behind the <laughs> behind the screen <laughs> so altogether we had 297 participants registered um just a few from the feedbacks there are far more feedbacks but just a few guided sessions step by step helpful session bringing a difficult task to the table many other feedbacks uh, i didn't have time <laughs> to write all of them so thank you so much everyone who attended this program i hope it was a good learning and uh, thank you for sending me all your artworks i try my best to give the feedback to everyone uh, and obviously thank you for your uh, all the feedbacks uh not everything was pink <laughs> during this program not everything was so smoothly we had many issues. We had uh, internet connections issues. We had problems from the event bride. You know, some emails and Zoom links haven't been sent to participants. They were left without attending our live sessions. So I want to take this chance to say all my apologies for this. 
Um, we had also other experiences. <laughs> so it's not everything so smooth and nice. Uh, what else we had? Uh, not all the feedbacks are amazing. But guys, the most important thing is that you took your time, you know, to get involved in this art project. And for this reason, I want to say thank you so much for everyone. All good or bad feedbacks are all welcome. It's a learning for us as well to provide more future programs, better organized, and um, hopefully we can reach even more audience. This was all from us. We hope for more future projects. Um, the same during holidays, maybe Easter or summer or Christmas or further. Hopefully it will be possible. I hope everyone enjoyed uh, all the programs. Um, follow us on our social media at our classes group. Um, our website www.rclassesgroup.com for all the information. And I'll see you guys in two weeks time with another interview with um, a different artist. Thank you so much, everyone, and see you guys in uh, two weeks' time. Thank you. Bye.